Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. Today, this is the bad shop, right? Uh, I'll do it. Do you have a key? Huh. You don't have a key. Interesting. Um, weren't there? Wait, weren't, weren't there star th things that cost like twenty here? Oh, I guess not. Um, I do want so in one more star piece. I'm probably gonna get drop FPS when Mario attacks by one. Um, because that sounds very good. Is this not the bad shop though? Oh, I'm just actually confused then. Hi again. How's it going? I don't, I don't have any money, so it's not like <laughs> I can buy anything from you. Um, okay. Well, that's... Interesting. And by interesting, I mean slightly confusing, because I thought that was the only uh, bad shop in Rogueport, but apparently not. Let me go back and talk to this guy. What is that dude up there doing? I, it will, will fall into the water if I try to go any further. Um, you, man. Someone found the key. I think I dropped my key when I went to the ba bad shop, but I'm not sure. I think you dropped your key when you went to the bad shop. Which would be down here, no? Ow. Oh, Goombella doesn't take any damage. Interesting. Okay. Um, there is no other shop, though, right? I've been everywhere, and there's no other shop but that bad shop down there. Hello? This is Lumpy uh, Ratui. He's dreaming to strike it rich and by finding oil. Okay. Hi. Hey, you're Mario. Uh, wow, that's so cool. Never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Uh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading to the dry, dry desert to prospect for oil. Uh, I lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? You're poorer than I am. I am. I'm sorry. I kind of spent all my money on fortune telling and badges. Uh, well, that's a shame. I'll, I'll come back when I have the money. Maybe. Guess I should have taken Hooktail's offer of the thousand coins. He would not have given it to you, Cronus. You know this. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll go back to the sewer and look around a little bit more. Unless there is a badge down here? I don't know. I'll be right back, I guess. When I find it. Actually, before I do this, I totally forgot there was like a star piece. Uh... Is this the badge shop? What the fuck? This is new. This wasn't here before. This was definitely not here before. Buying special deals. Okay. These are deals. Ooh! -hoo. Slowly and automatically? Okay. God damn it. I really wish I didn't freaking use all my money. Okay, bye. Maybe these quests will give me a bunch of money. Give me this. Well, I'm glad I remember the star piece was over here. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Man, I really hope this guy gives me either a super duper badge or like a super duper money. And that was fairly easy once I accidentally found the badge store. Hi. Hey, you found my key? Yeah. Oh, my key. 
Uh, I can finally get inside my house. Home, sweet home, thank you. Please take this as a payment. 20 coins. Okay. You solved the trouble. I've come to loot your house. Anything else? Okay, thanks, I guess. Um, and I can't get up there yet. Or behind here, even though there's definitely somewhere behind here. Uh, alright, cool. This is not the trouble center. This is the shine sprite. I mean, I guess I'm going to... So there's two things I need to do. One. Invest in oil. Because I want to get rich quick. And two. Uh... Buy that FP badge. <laughs> Uh, this is Makumba, and I have a simple task. I need to have some delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I haven't. I, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Maybe behind Zesty's house at Rogueport Plaza. Okay. I mean, sounds simple enough. Been there like four, five hundred times now, looking for a badge place. That's not even completely fair. I, I, I was looking around in between episodes, and I didn't even think about... So when I saved, because I, I ended the episode at the top of uh, the, the inn, I just jumped down and saved. You know who'll be watching the Let's do this quick. Take this package to Gumfrey. You'll find him at Frankly House. Okay. Is this a drug deal? Let's save real quick. <laughs> just in case... Uh, this is, I just screw this up somehow. Okay, so Frankly's house is right here. You must be the dude. Package! Yeah, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell Makuma I said so. Okay, we never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Makuma my message, I'll go give you a compensation. Remember this, this deal won't be done until you give my... Okay. I mean, fair enough. That seems very simple. But can you give me like a thousand coins, please? 20 coins. All right, cool. I, I, I'm fine with the easy task to get money. Uh, the money we get out of battle wasn't that much, but at the same time, uh, I have a feeling we're gonna have to go back to, like, Petalburg. Because definitely one of them is from the mayor of Petalburg. Price adjustments. This is offer. Uh, I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor's shop, I need to do some... I need some research. I need to find... I need the price of fire flowers. One second. Are you writing this down, Carlos? Absolutely. I'll make you in front of the building to make the exchange. All right, cool. Yeah, that should be easy to do. I'll just do that right now. Who is offer? Are you offer? No, you're charlatan. Are you offer? Plus a million. Okay. Are right. who the hell's offer? Are you offer? What the hell? Okay. You said in front of the shop, right? It's not this guy. Or is it behind the shop? No. Okay. One second. Oh, do I not have a trouble log thing? Okay. It did say in front of the shop, didn't they? Oh, it's you! You were in front of the trouble shop! Alright, so, yeah, okay. So he was in front of the trouble shop. Uh, first, how many are they asking? It's asking for ten. Let's see. Sleepy is eight. 
is three. Ah, oh, that's rough. Uh, those are some low prices. No, they're not. Actually, I think the Fire Flower was eight in Petalburg, wasn't it? At least I feel like it was. Uh, Goomther, find this guy. Hey, 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 my name's Goomther. Please find the guy that pulled off the credit card fraud on me. I'll be in the Ropak Plaza. Okay, sure. Are we gonna, are we gonna kill this guy? Because we can do that. we gonna be the first Goomba, or assuming it's the Goomba, but I guess it might not be. Uh, yeah, Mario's killed a bunch of you people. What's the, okay, I don't care about that. You? Hey, you're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Larson the Bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want you to rough him up for a bit, but the guy's too wise and I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere in row part and I don't know where, I want you to find him, but by the way, bandits are those guys with blue outfits with a red mask. There are several more, but the one, uh, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this and then you get your reward. I'm counting on you. Okay, well, I'm gonna save. I only know two of them. One of them I got into their house. So I'm gonna start with that one. And the other one is in the bad side of town where the trouble sensor center is. Well, no wait, I chased this guy to the house because he stole from me. Are you the dude? No, okay. So it must be the other one. Yeah, yeah, you stole- I didn't help you get into your house. That was- that was something else, wasn't it? Anyways, <laughs> my brains- don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. I chased him because he stole my money. The other bandit is over here. I'm assuming this is the- the bandit we need. Hi. No? Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Oh my god, that. F oh my, my eyes. That freaked me out for a second. I actually looked it up where I could find the guy, and one of the things was like, check the brick wall near Merlin's house, and I was like, okay. I was not expecting it to do that. Hi. Got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you got busy with me, scram. What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Yes. Why am I moving? Interesting. So, uh, how'd I let myself get caught? And by... Oh! Hello? Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places, and now I'm done talking now, okay? Darkly, he loves the dark! He just stays here in the shadows all day long. Kind of creepy to me, but hey, whatever powers you up, what, can, you know what I mean? Like, whatever floats your boat, whatever gets the juices flowing. Yeah, I get you. Oh my god. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to be, get like that. Oh. But I went up for a second. Oh, I did? I feel like there's something else here that I'm missing. No? Okay. That dude's creepy. <laughs> uh, so he left. Now I gotta find him. Oh, there you are. At least I'm assuming that's you. Oh, that's the guy, Mario. That's Lars the Thief. Yes, the. That's the catch. This is where we're Let's nab him and get a reward. Okay. Cripes. The fraud police. You don't give up easy, do you? He can't make me pay. I should probably hit you with a hammer first. Wait, where are you going? But buddy, I just fucking looked everywhere else. Are you kidding me? Oh, is that you? Dude, just give me the money, please. <gasps> yeah, eat him! Okay. Oh, you are gonna eat him. Or sell him on the streets, one or the other. This game's weird. Well, those look like wanted posters with a lot of bounties on them that I would love to cash in. It's like 8,000 coins. 
I'm pretty sure I probably wouldn't need that much coins for this game, but I would love to have it. Please? This is not where I need to be. <laughs> this is not the trouble center. I mean, I guess we're just going to be doing this today. Go through the side quests. Uh, Mouse a million. Hit me, please. Okay. I kind of charge, charge a lot for this. I need some help jogging my memory. Mimi and Rogue's... Okay. thought you were going to be a little bit into the rough love toward a, sort of deal. But, you know, if you just need help jogging your memory, can we just bring you to... I don't know. A doctor? A mushroom dealer? You want me to hit you with a hammer? Because I can do that. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hi, you accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So, I want you to use shock treatment to try to remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hammer until I remember. But be careful. If you hit me after I remember, then I'll forget again. Okay, let's do this. Yo, you B. Just can't remember. Just can't remember. I just can't remember. Just can't remember. I think I get kind of glitchy, huh? Nope, it's not coming. Not to me. No, indeedy. I'll definitely try again, because I'm sure I'll remember eventually. Come back and hit me anytime. Do I get like, spam this? You remember? That's it! I remember! I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop! And I'll sell it for a two coin profit in... Really? <laughs> I'll let that... Let tip be a reward. Really? How much inventory space do I have? Not many. I have two. That's not a good reward, by the way. All right. I mean, I guess if I empty up my inventory, fill it with sleepy sheep, and then go to Petalburg, I might eventually get so insane that I might think it's worth it. So, okay. It's 10. If I f empty up my inventory, buy 10 of them, I'll eventually get a 20 coin profit. I mean, I guess if I'm really hurting for money, then I probably wouldn't even be able to do it, right? Because, like, I gotta buy them. This is Bomberto, and I need you to do some shopping. Please come right now. I'm starving. Rogue pork docks. Sure. I mean, I could do that, I guess. I would... I, I actually don't didn't know you could sell. Oh no, you you can sell. You just gotta talk to the guy, right? How much is the sheep? Yeah, they're eight. I need the forty. No, I need eighty coins. And then I sell them, and I get a hundred coins back. Rinse and repeat until you have all the badges. That would take a while. Oh, I found a power punch during one of the... During something. I don't even remember one. Um... I mean, I could do it. I have a feeling I'm gonna... Ha you know what? If we have to go to Petalburg's, I will do it. Not right now. You gotta go to the big bomb down here, right? Like, he's the big, big bomb. He is right there. Hi. No matter how much I work, I still... Seems like I'll never get filthy rich. Uh, okay, are you not Bomberto? Are you... Are you Bomberto? Because, mate, you run into all sorts of trouble. Who the fuck is Bomberto, then? You? Um, I brought me a lunchbox, but it was empty when I opened it. I'm hungry, I could eat walrus whiskers. Ugh. You gotta bring me something to eat. 
How about it? Let's see. Whatever. Uh, anything. As long as it's food. I gotta save. <laughs> long as it's food. I got a mushroom. Actually, do I have a mushroom? I have a mushroom, yes. I got a power punch. Mushroom? Now's your... Okay, thank you. Thanks, mate. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I really wish we could increase our inventory size. There probably is a way to do that at some point in the game. You, you just, honestly don't need it right now. But I also just don't like limited inventory like this. These are some super basic and easy side quests. At least they're rewarding me somewhat. Usually speaking with money, and I guess a tip to make infinite money if I want to spend the time doing that. Uh, who poke? Uh, hide and seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now. I don't like you. Okay, no. Uh, order me an item. Plenty. Our shop inventory is low and I need someone to help me restock it. Please come to the shop in Roqueport Square. What's the mayor one? Someone please come talk to me, please. I'm waiting at the pink house in Petalburg. That's fucking sad. Um, alright. We'll do plenty one first. And then apparently I gotta go to Petalburg, come back, back to Petalburg, or Pe Petal area, then go to Hooktails. Okay, so the hooktail one sounds like it's gonna be a pain in my ass. Hi. Are you the dude? No. Where the hell? I thought Plenty was in the square. No. Are you Plenty? Okay. Hi. Welcome. Yeah, uh, you've had my trouble. Uh,. We're having a real hard time finding courage cells. I need to bring us five from anywhere you can find them, okay? It's five courage cells? What the fuck are courage cells? Um. Oh shit, did I just fuck myself? I might have just really screwed myself, huh? Uh, do you think they sell them in Pedalburg? Probably not. They m maybe? I can check. So I'm in uh, Petalburg in Nifty Shop. Uh, I'm selling a bunch of sheep that I bought. Uh, and they do actually give you a two coin profit. So, hey, money. So we just need no we just need to make sure we never go uh, below 80 coins if we're going to try to make profit. And they do have the courage cells. So I'm going to buy five of these, and then I'll meet you guys back in Rogueport. All right. So we should be good to hand in your shells. Hi. Uh, I did. Oh, my God. Really? One at a time? That's five. You're done. Okay. Where's my reward? Ultra Shroom. Okay, you've solved the trouble. Great. I'm going to put that Ultra Sum away. Because I actually have to go back to Petalburg for a trouble. Oh, whoa. What is this? Wait, can I fast travel? No. I got really excited there thinking I could fast travel. That's a shame. I don't know how I got there either. Uh, I, I was given, actually, an item for buying so many sleep shrooms, uh, not sleep, sleep shrooms, but, like, sleep sheeps, I, ice storm, so I put that in storage for now, uh, but yeah, just buy ten of these, baby, and eventually you'll probably will give me something, too, that's a pretty good, what was that, wait, what, oh, you gave me a super shroom, okay, cool, Hey, can you give me, like, a life shroom? 
Because, like, straight up, I accidentally kind of used mine. It wasn't really an accident. It was more of I sucked at doing my stuff. And, uh, you know, kind of how to use it. This is like every 10 points you give me something? Seems like it is. That's a good way to max out your points, though, kind of. We almost done? Oh, we are done. Great. Will you give me a way to increase my storage? So yeah, wh why are we uh, filling that out? Because there's a trouble in Petalburg that I gotta go do. I gotta make sure to take it first. It's the mayor one. He wants us to go talk to him. And then there's also the one where we gotta find a, a hiding seat champion inside Hooktail's castle, which, not gonna lie, sounds like hell, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Please come talk to me. I'm so lonely. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Mayor. You know, I was thinking about trying uh, buying fire flowers here because they're ten dollars back at uh, Roseport, but they're only eight dollars here. Oh, welcome, welcome, Murphy. You must have gotten my request. Good, good. Truth be told, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax for a bit? Indulge in old Cooper. Oh, to tell you the truth, I've got a few things to say about kids these days. Their tempers are too short for their own good. For one, makes you want to smack them. Why, I was shopping at Total Bros Discount Superstore. Where's that? Can I go there? The other day. Also, Princess Told School? I was trying to pay and my coin purse was stuck closed. And the kid behind me said, Hey, geezer, want to pay so we can get out of here before the sun goes down? Nah, uh, maybe a geezer, but the sundown was clearly taking longer than I was, clearly. Speaking of sundown, remind me of dating the missus back before she was the missus. Always had to, ha always had to have her home before sundown, yes, sir. Had her pa was an absolute man. Her pa was an absolute maniac. Yep, I keep an eye on the sun and off the face of uh, and off the face of the missus. Gentlemanly, huh? Actually, it was sort of an it was sort of awkward, kind of blind and, and kind of sort of painful sort of way. Yeah, just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. <laughs> it's a memory of grain. Uh, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right, kids today. They know nothing about patience, I tell you. I want to stand up and yell, Hey, you punks, be more patient right now. Or so get off my lawn. Speaking of which, I think I proclaim my love from the missus in a loud voice. Yep, she was leaving on a train and I yelled it from the platform. Like in a movie. Yeah, uh, what was I? That what I? What was that I yelled at her? Something about her shell. Oh, did she have a dumpy shell? Maybe had a dumpy shell. I think I've strayed from my main point. Oh wait, did I? Anyways, me and the missus were madly in love. Head over shell, I tell you. No, wait. My point was something about kids today, right? Oh, whatever. Oh, my dear sweet missus, the way you comb my eyebrows, <laughs> such tenderness. <laughs> Huzzah! Oh, sorry, I got distracted there, and aroused. Anyways, you get my point. Sorry you had to listen to through all that. Wasn't too boring, though, I wager. I just had to get a little FaceTime with the youth of the day. Oh, I forgot to set you that's a tea. Aren't I an old ninny? <laughs> my apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water part. Off of sorry. Turtley leaf. Replenishes 3 FP. Oh hey boy, if you cook a turtley leaf, you can make some amazing tea. Oh, and if you change your mind, you can come back and listen to me yap anytime. Okay. Bye. Turtley leaf. So... A leaf found in Petalburg replenishes 3 FP. That's... Okay. That's not great. But it's fine. I'll be back in Rogueport, I guess. Okay. Uh, Koo Poke Pook. Uh, try to find me. So, hide and seek champion somewhere in Hooktail Castle. I will take it. Um, I, I'm going back to Petalburg. I'm really hoping that there's a fast travel option in this game at some point. If I'm going to have to keep going back to places like this. Uh, like, if I had to keep going back to Petalburg, it's not hard, it's just very inconvenient. <laughs> not to mention, like, 
I don't know. It gets old fast. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to Pedalburg, sell a bunch of sheep again, and then uh, I'll meet you guys. I'm probably just gonna find the dude in Hooktail's castle. Or try to, and then I'll meet you when I find him. Oh, is that you? Jesus Christ, man. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm kinda over the trouble center right now, to be quite honest. Oh, man. I gained a level. Uh, I put in uh, flower points, because I've been using a lot of those recently. Um, but yeah. Good God. I got a m bunch of money. That's not, I just missed some money. Ah, blast! So, you found me. Curses, I felt sure that no one would ever find me here. You're standing in the open. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much, I just never stop. It was a hobby, but I kept hiding, and soon I was known as the hide-and-seek Koopa. Uh, Koopoke. I thought you... I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when you were barely a shell high. Koops? Is that you? Yeah, Koops! It's the same Koops who was always had a... Who always had to be it when we played hide-and-seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it. Oh, uh, he's only actually here because, like, I straight up needed him for, like, some of the stuff. Yeah, yeah, I remember back then. That one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right? That was the very day that I decided to become the hide-and-seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've hid and snuck and snuck and hid my way through life. That's fucking weird, man. Yeah, it's a crazy day. But, since you found me this this time, I'll give you a reward like I promised. Special Guard, a parlor card that lets you play the plane mode game. What? On this while I was traveling and hiding around the world, I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding place. Wish you luck. Yeah, okay. Uh, fantastic. That is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Apparently, I unlocked a mini game that we don't have access to access to yet I think probably but yeah no that's it I will see you all next time when we don't do any trouble center stuff I mean I'll check to make sure nothing else unlocked but I swear to god if anything did I'm gonna be quite salty bye